I have with me Jennifer Shahade, uh, who was the host of uh, this tournament for the Grand Chess Tour. Uh, Jennifer, could you tell us uh, how did you enjoy this tournament? It was fantastic. It started out a little bit peacefully, but at the end, it really brought all the excitement with Magnus Carlsen winning in the end. And, you know, it all kind of started his turnaround with that end game against Hikaru, which was such a a thriller, really, watching that. At first, at first it was like, wow, he's just going to grind this forever and it's just going to be a draw. And then as he got closer and closer to the victory, it was really very exciting. Even though, of course, I, um, I am unbiased in my role as a commentator and host, but as a, an American player, I always have a fondness for Nakamura and Kairana, so it always hurts a little bit more when they lose. Okay, so uh, over here, what exactly was your role for this uh, event? Uh, what were you uh, doing? Well, I was interviewing the players after the game, and we were we have we have a few uh, members of Spectrum Studios here, and they're combining what we shoot here, which is both like B-roll of the players and their intense expressions, and then the post-game interviews and interviews with different celebrities and and whatnot, and we meld that in with all the great analysis of Yasser Sarawan, Maurice Ashley, and Alejandro Ramirez, which is going on in our studio at the St. Louis Chess Club. So that's how it works. Okay, and uh, you, every day you came up with uh, one very interesting question. <laughs> Could you tell us how you would think up such questions like uh, if you had a chance to view the analysis of a player, who would it be, or something, you know, some different type of questions. I, I just tried to come up with a, what we call a question of the day and see which ones worked and which ones didn't just because sometimes if you just ask them about the game, um, that's great, but I find that if you ask questions about what they expect in the tournament or what they think of their next opponent, usually they don't like to say anything because they're all very gentlemanly. So if you ask something so direct, you're not going to get any good answers. So just try to twist it a little bit and, and get something concrete. So uh, you are a chess player and you are a commentator, you are a host, uh, you're also a poker player. So what exactly do you like doing the most? Uh, mm, I will, I, I, one that you didn't even mention, I really love writing and uh, okay. uh, just uh, being creative and trying to use my brain as much as possible, like in chess. <laughs> So you like all these roles very much, yeah? I do, I do. I like it. It's good, it's good when you get the, just like in chess, it's great when you get a flow experience so that you lose your sense of time and you are just really engaged and whatever gets you into that zone is what I like the most. Okay, so from here, what's next on your agenda now? I'm actually going to relax for a couple of weeks and then I'm going to this uh, event called the Poker Stars Caribbean Adventure. It's in the Bahamas. It's a Poker Stars tournament where I'll be doing a lot of uh, poker tournaments, but also a lot of chess probably. There was actually just a poker and chess tournament in Prague. So uh, Poker Stars, which is one of my sponsors, is, is getting uh, written more into chess, which is kind of exciting. Okay, so thank you very much, Jen, and all the best for your future endeavors. Thank you. It was great seeing you guys here.